Of all the companies I'm interested in this year for laptops, it's going to be Dell. They've just been doing some really exciting things. Today, that's exemplified by the new Latitude 7400 2-in-1, a brand new premium laptop that's meant for business, but still, it's really impressed me. And today, I'm gonna to tell you why. Stay tuned. All right, so when it comes to laptops, there are different classes of them, and this one is a premium business laptop. It's meant for managers and executives, but the Latitude series has always crossed over into the prosumer line. Think of it like Lenovo's ThinkPad series or Elite Books by HP, all of which I tremendously enjoy. Now, the Latitude series here for the 7400 has done a few things here that have never been done on laptops before. And that makes it really interesting, but it's gonna be that battery life that's really impressed me. But let's get to the tour of the specs and features first, and I'll show you what's new. All right, starting with the outside here, you can see Dell is using their brushed aluminum finish. Now this is a all metal unibody design and it's really nice. And what I like about this brushed metal here is it really doesn't pick up fingerprints. This actually bothers me a lot with a lot of laptops, including razors. And you can see here, yeah, there's technically a little bit of oils it can pick up there, but compared to most laptops, a very clean one. So if you're fastidious about being clean, well, this is gonna be your choice. All right, look at the right-hand side, you do get a Kensington lock as well as a full USB type A. You also get a micro SD card slot and headphone jack. And you can see here, there is a slot here for a SIM card, which is just a metal tray that pulls out. And yes, you can configure this with 4G LTE. Now turn to the left-hand side, you can see here, you do have a USB type C. This is gonna be used for charging as well as another USB type C. Both of these are full Thunderbolt 3 port, so that's really nice. That charger is actually really good. It comes with either a 65, Five watt charger or for an extra about 13 bucks you get a 90 watt charger which is unusual for this range you usually don't see something that powerful but a 90 watt charger is really nice you get a full hdmi as well because this is a business laptop and they use those a lot as well as usb type a so overall good selection for ports now, usually backs of laptops aren't too exciting, but I just love the design of this. First of all, look at how parallel everything is with these rear vents here for the CPU. Really nice clearance there. And you do have this new dual hinge design. I just wanna call this out because I'm seeing a lot of companies do this. So this actually flexes at two angles, one where it connects to the display and one where it connects to the body. And that design change is actually very important as it gives a little lift to the device as well as allowing companies not to have a massive chin on the display, which I know bothers a lot of you folks. So this new design is a cure for that and you'll see a lot of manufacturers using it in 2019. Looking at the bottom, nothing too exciting. You do get a couple of screws here to remove the bottom, as well as the intakes for the dual fans, as well as another vent there. And you do get speakers on the bottom edge. And that's kind of annoying a little bit, but I want to point out, these are actually pretty good speakers for Dell. That's always been a big complaint of mine with Dell devices, even the XPS line. These speakers though, show me Dell actually is concerned about audio and making a lot of progress. Not the best in class, but these are a solid BB plus speakers. I'm actually very happy with them. All right, opening up the Latitude 7400, you can see all sorts of great stuff here. So very thin bezels. Obviously, a lot of you guys are very concerned about that. So extremely thin bezels, including that chin I was pointing out, very thin, goes down to the bottom there. You can barely see it. And they didn't compromise though. This does have a full webcam on top, which is really nice. There's also Windows Hello. This is also uses the Intel RealSense technology, and I'll talk about that in a second here. So this not only has the ability to log you in facial recognition, which is super convenient, it also has this new feature that is co-produced with Intel, which basically detects your presence. So if you're sitting in front of the laptop, the screen will just stay on while you're using it. However, if you depart from the laptop for a minute or two minutes, you can set it yourself, the screen will automatically lock and the display turns off. Despite the fact that it's off, those cameras stay on. So as soon as your face appears in front of it again, well, it automatically turns on and unlocks. It's completely hands-free. Don't need to wake the laptop and it works brilliantly. So it does that for locking and unlocking. It's a really nice feature, completely optional, but you'll see Dell using this and some of their other laptops, including that new XPS 13 2-in-1 that's coming out later this summer. It's really neat though. I've been a big fan of it. And for those of you who like to lock your computer automatically, well, it's a sure win. As to the display itself, it's a 14 inch full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution. So that's 16 by nine. Yeah, I would have preferred three by two or 16 by 10 like all of you, but it is 16 by nine. So we're gonna have to stick with that for a little while. But it's a very good display. It's a low wattage, low power display. So this uses about one watt of power versus two. That may not sound like a big difference, but it actually matters a lot. Brightness is okay. It's gonna approach around 300 nits. It's not the brightest in the category here, but I never felt it was too dull or had any issue with it either. Also the colors and contrast are very good with this display. Again, 
On business laptops, I expect compromise. This one though is actually really good for watching videos. Sure, it doesn't have Dolby Vision or HDR or anything like that, but it's overall a very good display. I'm very happy with it. Of course, it supports touch and inking as well. So overall, I'm really happy with Dell's choice this year. All right, looking at the keyboard deck here, some interesting stuff going on. You do get the power button here with a bright LED light there. In fact, this actually has a few LEDs to let you know it's charging, including one on the front. Well, this keyboard's kind of interesting. So I don't love the look of it. It's smaller chiclet key designs, and I feel like they could have gone maybe edge to edge with this or done something else. That said, very good keyboard. I have no problems typing on it. Very good travel on it. A little bit shallow, probably about 1.3 millimeter, but overall just really nice for typing. It's not too loud, and I just don't care for the look of it as much, but overall for typing, it's really great. You also get the full arrow keys here. So if you'll notice this dips down a little bit here, most companies will sacrifice with the top and bottom ones, make them even smaller. Not Dell though, they're giving you the full size, which is kind of nice. And now looking at the trackpad here, it's a pretty good size glass precision drivers. Responsiveness is very good, very smooth, and it feels just really nice on your finger. The clicking is also good, but it does have a slight little rattle to it, which kind of bothers me a little bit. Feels a little bit cheaper than what I think they could do, but overall, no issues using it. Now let's get to specs and features. So this one is running a Intel Core i7-8665U. It's the latest eighth generation 15 watt CPU. It's actually very powerful. It can go up to 4.8 gigahertz and it leads in our speed test. Although the Huawei MateBook X Pro can still edge it out slightly when it comes to quad core processing. And that just has to do with the better ventilation on Huawei, which is a little bit more aggressive. But still, this is a very good CPU. If you don't want the Core i7, you can get one of two Core i5 variants as well. So pretty good selection there. When it comes to storage, you get all sorts of options, including up to two terabyte SSD, PCIe, NVMe. So it's gonna be a very good performer. It was over 3000 megabytes per second for reads, speeds, and that's gonna be the really good stuff. When it comes to RAM, you can get up to 16 gigabytes of DDR3. Again, pretty good performer. I would have liked to see DDR4, but not a huge difference here. Now, being a business laptop, this does not have discrete graphics. So you're looking at Intel UHD 620. Again, pretty good performer. Doesn't fall too far behind the new NVIDIA MX250, so it's still not very good, but it's also not the worst out there as well. Now, the big news with this laptop is going to come down to battery. It comes with a 52 watt hour battery, pretty standard for a 14 inch laptop, but you can also configure it with a 78 watt hour battery, which is what we have here. Folks, there are not many laptops, none I can think of off my head here, that have a 78 watt hour battery in a 14 inch laptop. That is massive. That's why this thing also weighs 3.3 pounds or 1.5 kilograms. Now, if you go with the smaller battery, it's only around three pounds, so it's gonna be a little bit lighter, but still, 78 watt hour delivers amazing battery life, especially when you combine it with that low wattage display. So Dell quotes it at 24 hours, which is a little bit crazy. But I can honestly say I can get 15 hours of real world usage out of this thing, which again is insane for a 14 inch laptop. Now I took this out on the road with me to Taipei recently and it was the only laptop I had because I just liked it so much. The ability to turn it to a two in one, use it as a tablet. That pen is just a really good pen overall. I like it's magnetic and sticks to it, but that battery life is just killer for me. That combined with a Core i7 processor is no joke for a laptop. Display was also very good. I really love that Intel RealSense technology, which I hope to see in more laptops. I love to see Surface use it as well. Now it comes to heat and noise. Overall, it's a pretty cool laptop. The fans don't get very loud. Sure, if you're running a Windows update, you'll definitely hear the fans come on there. But again, very cloud, no high pitch whine, no coil whine either. So overall, it's a pretty quiet laptop and I really enjoyed the performance from it. All right, let's bring it all in. So the Dell Latitude 7400 2-in-1. It's one of my favorite 14-inch laptops right now, even displacing HP's Elite Books, which I still recommend and still really enjoy. But look at that design. It's slightly more modern. You get those really ultra-thin bezels. You get that great Windows Hello camera. Overall, the keyboard's very good, and that 78-watt-hour battery just totally seals the deal for me. Combined with a 90 watt hour charger on the road, this thing is just unstoppable. It's a really good laptop, it's flexible. Even the speakers are good on it, which is something I'm just not used to saying. I just really wanna point that out. Even when flipping into a two-in-one position, the speakers were loud and didn't distort. I just really enjoyed it. I didn't even point out they're using some new technology from Max Waves, which uses the camera to see where your head is positioned and then adjust the audio based on that, which is kind of crazy. 
fortunately, it doesn't work with UWP apps for whatever reason. So if you're gonna use movies and TV, well, it doesn't really work there. But if you're gonna use it for games or other Win32 apps, it does work and it's actually really impressive. In fact, we'll give you the link and you can go try it yourself. All right, let's talk about pricing now. This starts at $1,600. That's for the Core i5 version with eight gigabytes of RAM. The version we have here, it's $2,700. That is very, very expensive. But this, again, is a premium business laptop. It's meant for companies who are probably going to buy this in bulk and they're going to get massive discounts. Anyway, no one really pays Dell's full price unless you're going to buy it as a consumer. Now, if you are interested in this as a consumer, I highly recommend it. There are other options out there, including HP EliteBook. Their 1040 is really nice. I haven't tried the new G6, but I really enjoy the G5. We reviewed it on this channel, so go check it out. You also have the ThinkPad X1 Carbon, which is sort of in another league. It's a super light laptop, but this will crush it for battery life. There's just no doubt about it. Still though, if you're looking for a full HD one that's gonna get you really, really long battery life, well, I can highly recommend the Dell Latitude 7400 2-in-1. In fact, it's like I said, one of my favorite laptops this year. All right, so there's a quick look at the Dell Latitude 7400 2-in-1. It is now available from dell.com and you can go there and configure whatever options you want. Now, if you want more information about that, we'll have the link in the description below. If you have any questions about this laptop, leave them in comments. I'll try to answer them as well. Otherwise, tell me what you think of this laptop. Is Dell hitting it out of the park so far in 2019? I think they are, but you tell me. Otherwise, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.